Hi guys, Andrew here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a really cool program called DRT made by Massey Plugins. It's a free program and a sample replacement tool. The best out in my opinion. It makes it super easy and quick for you to get it done. Um, it's free to download and try on their website so just go to MasseyPlugins.com and download their uh, demo. And they have a lot of other cool stuff that comes with the package. Uh, one in particular is called Tape Head. That's a tape saturator that I really like to use on a lot of my mixes. Um, they have a lot of other cool stuff as well. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use DRT right now. Um, so we're going to go into Audio Suite, Instrument, DRT. This is DRT, demo version. Now, I don't have all the features because I haven't bought it. And I highly suggest that you do. But for now... And if you don't feel like buying it, work with the demo version. So what we're going to do first is we're going to select what we want to sample replace. And what we want to sample replace is my snare top. So I'm going to click on that region, as you can see, and I'm going to click Analyze. And what that does is analyze the waveform. And it puts in all these triggers. Now, you're like, okay, well, you know, this has way too many triggers. Well... Down here on these slider bars, we have loudness and sensitivity. There are two different ways for the computer to analyze the waveform and put in the triggers. To the left is going to only put in triggers for the loudest peaks. So the farther you go to the left, the only triggers that remain are the loudest uh, peaks in the waveform. I tend to find that uh, you know the sweet spot is right here in the middle. And we're going to do that. You can also do it with sensitivity, whatever works better for you. I tend to find loudness is a lot easier. Um, so now we got all our triggers in. What's cool about this uh, plugin is that it follows your selection in Pro Tools in real time. So whatever you select here in the timeline comes up in your display on DRT, which is great. So we're going to reselect that whole region. And over here we have compression and our velocity tool. So compression pretty much is just going to make all your triggers the same velocity. It's going to compress them, uh, you know, pretty flat across. That's great if you are doing hip hop or whatever. Um, if you're trying to replace real drums, I recommend leaving it where it is because it'll be as natural as the drummer played it. Um, and I'm this is assuming you've already done your drum editing. Um, and over here is your velocity, so you can make them louder or softer. Um, you know, that's really awesome and easy. And then, you know, we have all our samples here. Um, if you're doing really complex drums, I recommend that you go through all the triggers and make sure that they're put in right. Um, this also has a function up here. You can put in a gate uh, and you can gate your triggers. I'm not going to gate them because uh, for time's sake. And then you have trigger separation over here, which pretty much just makes... It pretty much allows you to separate it so you don't end up with like double triggers, um, and that's you're gonna have to play around with that and you know check out your waveforms. So how do we get this into our session? Super easy. All you gotta do, you click right here, you drag and drop into your clip section. You either want it as a clip or a new track. We're gonna go new track from session start. Um, and we are going to click OK. And we're going to close DRT. And would you look at that? We have all our snare heads perfectly in line. Look how easy that was. So, like once again, you know, I said this is DRT. I highly recommend picking up this plugin, it will make your life super easy as far as sample replacement. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.